Top 10 Best Things to Do in Maldives With its turquoise waters, overwater bungalows, and diverse marine life, the Maldives is a dream come true for anyone seeking a slice of paradise. Whether you're a sun seeker, an underwater enthusiast, or a cultural explorer, this tropical wonderland has something special in store for you. In today's video, we'll unveil the top 10 must-do experiences in the mesmerizing Maldives. Let's dive in. Number 10. Scuba Diving The Maldives ranks among the top scuba diving spots globally, and if you're looking for an ultimate diving experience, this is the place to be. You'll find plenty of reasonably priced paddy dive centers that cater to both beginners and certified divers. Whether you're a first-timer or an experienced diver, you can choose from varying diving options to explore the diverse array of reefs. The Maldives boasts numerous captivating dive sites, with Ba Atoll standing out as one of the largest coral reef clusters in the Indian Ocean. It's even recognized as a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve, cementing its status as a prime diving destination. Expect encounters with magnificent manta rays, gentle whale sharks, vibrant marine life including reef sharks and sea turtles. The crystal clear warm blue waters provide exceptional visibility, and the inviting temperatures negate the need for a wetsuit. Number 9. Underwater Spa Day Indulging in a spa treatment during a tropical getaway to the Maldives holds a unique charm, especially given the exceptional spa facilities at the luxurious hotels there. However, imagine enhancing this experience by merging it with another remarkable Maldivian activity. The Hoovafen Fushi Resort introduces the world's first underwater spa, an exclusive encounter found nowhere else. As you receive a massage, marvel at the vibrant fish and thriving reef through the treatment room's underwater windows, situated about 26 feet below the surface. The facility offers two specialized treatments to maximize this immersive environment. The Underwater Dream, spanning 60 or 90 minutes, and the Underwater Rendezvous, a 120-minute escape. These treatments encompassing your entire body promise an incredibly serene sensation. Number 8. Sultan Park the city of Mail, among the world's most densely populated, showcases its compact urban landscape as you drive over the airport bridge, with buildings and cranes filling its small landmass. Amidst this concrete expanse, Sultan Park emerges as a rare haven, centrally nestled, sparing you the need to journey to an outer island for respite. Despite its modest map presence, the park surprises with its spacious ambiance thanks to its abundant gardens. Once the site of the 16th century royal palace, the park now thrives with myriad plants, trees, fountains, statues, benches, and serene spots, providing an escape from the bustling streets. Number 7. Male Fish Market In Male, located at the northern end of the island's harbor, lies one of the Maldives' few free attractions, the Male Fish Market. Here, visitors can observe the day's catches and indulge in delectable treats. The market showcases an array of freshly caught fish such as tuna, sailfish, and diverse reef fish laid out by local fishermen. For an optimal experience, mornings offer the liveliest scene as fishermen continuously unload their nets throughout the day. Moreover, the market serves as a hub for procuring fresh fruits and vegetables in the Maldives. Due to limited arable land in the country, most produce is imported. As a result, hotels, restaurants, and residents alike rely on this market to fulfill their culinary requirements. Number 6. Sunset Cruise Experiencing the sunset in a picturesque location like the Maldives is incredibly romantic and a perfect way to conclude the day. The enchantment amplifies when you partake in this ritual from a boat during a sunset cruise. Evening boat rides allowing you to bask in the sunset are available from numerous resort islands and select local islands. These cruises often feature light refreshments or dinner, along with tropical cocktails and other alcoholic beverages, a unique exception in the otherwise alcohol-restricted Maldives. Many of these cruises also offer supplementary activities prior to or post the sunset spectacle. For instance, a sunset cruise departing from Hara or Tefushi provides an opportunity for night fishing, equipping you with all necessities to engage in captivating starlight fishing. Additionally, a sandbank snorkeling cruise extends until sunset, which you can witness from the boat. This follows an enjoyable day of exploring sandbanks and marine life. Number 5. Surfing the Maldives offers its surfing season from April to October, coinciding with the monsoon period, although favorable ocean conditions persist throughout the year. The essential southeast swell produces moderate waves and consistent lengthy breaks. While not a prime destination for experienced surfers like Maui's North Shore, it's an ideal spot for beginners to explore. However, caution is advised due to the prevalent reef bottom. 
Seeking advice from locals or hiring a guide is recommended. Surf shops on inhabited islands provide gear and tips, and certain hotels might offer rental boards. Experiencing the joy of riding splendid waves against the backdrop of picturesque atolls will undoubtedly make your venture worthwhile. Number 4. Dolphin Watching Dolphins, some of the most beloved marine mammals globally, are a delightful sight in the Maldives, particularly around the islands where over 20 species, including spinner and spotted dolphins, thrive. The Maldives offers abundant opportunities for dolphin viewing through day cruises, frequently successful in locating these playful creatures. A notable example is the Defushi Dolphin Cruise, departing in the late afternoon towards the atoll's edge, a known dolphin hotspot. These intelligent beings often treat spectators to captivating displays of leaps and dives around the boat. For an elevated encounter, the Mifushi Cruise takes it a step further by allowing you to snorkel alongside dolphins, accompanied by nurse sharks and giant trevallies. This immersive experience provides underwater photos and videos, an invaluable memento of the adventure. Number 3. Tsunami Monument the Tsunami Monument in Mail Maldives stands as a tribute to the tragic event and the lives lost within the nation. Situated by the harbor on the island's western side, the monument features a prominent structure comprising 108 metal rods arranged in a circle. This arrangement symbolizes the lives lost during the island engulfing waves. While concerns once arose about the country's potential submergence and subsequent uninhabitability following the earthquake, these fears were not realized. Nevertheless, the threat of such an outcome looms due to rising sea levels. Despite this history, visiting the Tsunami Monument offers a respectful homage to the past and a chance to contemplate its significance. It's important to note that while the region experiences frequent earthquakes, the occurrence of such devastating tsunamis is rare and shouldn't deter travel plans. Number 2. Fishing the Maldives is a coveted destination for fishermen, offering exceptional sport fishing opportunities with an abundance of prized species such as tuna, swordfish, wahoo, and barracuda frequenting the reefs and deep canyons. In addition to tourism, the country's economy receives robust support from commercial fishing. As a result, the government rigorously oversees recreational fishing, ensuring sustainable fish stocks for all. By embarking on a guided tour or charter boat, you can rest assured that you're adhering the regulations, eliminating any concerns about formalities. Charter boats are accessible both within resort island regions and local islands. Experience the charm of a sunset fishing cruise, setting off just before dusk. This allows you to relish the sunset from the boat before anchoring near the reef. Here you'll have the chance to cast your line and try your hand at catching dinner. And number 1. Mouliage Palace Located at the heart of Mail City, the Mouliage Palace offers a glimpse into Maldives' history, serving as the ancestral residence of sultans for centuries. Constructed in 1914 and completed in 1919, the palace was commissioned by Sultan Muhammad Shamsuddin III for his son, Prince Hassan Uzuddin, who had returned from the studies in Colombo. Presently, it serves as the official residence for the President of the Maldives. Within the palace grounds stands the Meduziyari, meaning Central Tomb, Honoring Abdul Barakat Youssef al Babari, the Moroccan scholar credited with introducing Islam to the Maldives in 1153. Over the years, the palace has played host to notable figures, including the late Queen Elizabeth II. Although public entry is restricted, visitors can still appreciate its exquisite exterior and the rich history it embodies. From the pristine beaches and vibrant coral reefs to the luxurious resorts and rich cultural heritage, the Maldives truly offers a paradise experience like no other. This tropical haven is something for everyone. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more travel guides and destination insights. Until next time!